your girl Naya J and what's poppin brand new bed just dropped in and as you guys can tell from the title what we're doing today and I hope you guys are ready for this advice because I wish somebody would have told me so yeah um we're just gonna get straight into the video Okay, so I have my notebook here and I wrote down um, all the little notes that I wanted to give y'all today. I think there's like 11 of them. So it's not that many, but they're really useful. So go grab something to eat, your popcorn, your sodas, your water, whatever you want because you might be here for a while so why not and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notifications and comment down below other videos that you guys want to see from me so first things first i put be true to yourself people always be like don't come in acting fake and be somebody that you're not but first things first you have to be true to yourself so if you're true to yourself then you wouldn't go anywhere fake anyway. So you have to be true to yourself. And that's just not even freshman advice. That's advice period anywhere because that you can just use that anywhere in life, honestly. And um, I just think people don't tell people that enough. I feel like they always be like, Oh, don't be fake and don't try to be somebody that you're not, but like stay true to yourself and you wouldn't even have to worry about that. So that's number one. Number two, we, I, so I want to talk about like grades and stuff first. And it's, I feel like you don't have to make the perfect grades, which you don't like. You don't have like I'm the type of person that I want to make the perfect grades. Like if I if I have a C, <laughs> why do I have a C? I know I don't deserve it. So <laughs> like talk to your teachers. That's the that's the main thing with your grades. Talk to your teachers and tell them that you need an understanding of what to do if you want to have better grades and stuff like that but my thing is you don't have to have the perfect grades just make sure that you're passing and like if you you can pass like you can pass a class with a d the school that i go to you can pass a class with a d only way that you get an f anyway is if you're not doing anything at all so just do the work which comes to number three which is pass all the classes you need to graduate and i know you're like dang graduate i'm just a freshman no, no, because they're going to like they're going to give you all these extra classes and you're going to be taking all these classes and you could have been had all your credits. So like me, I have all my credits. I could have graduated last year and I'm going to be a senior. And I, I have all the credits that I need, but my school likes to drag things out and we're going to have way over way over the credits that we need to graduate and if I went to a whole different school I could have graduated my junior year but that's why I'm saying it, it also really depends on your school but just make sure that you're passing the classes that you need to graduate that's all that matters pass the classes that you need to graduate my school is extra so we have to pass multiple classes and just extra stuff for no reason but that is important just focus on the classes that you need the most. Like, you want to be up there in those classes. So, focus on the classes, for real. Number four is, if you're looking into colleges, keep your GPA above a 3.0. Above a 3.0. Keep it above a 3.0 because that's your that's your freshman sophomore junior and senior year just keep it above a 3.0 um really 3.5 but 
3.0 for real um really just because colleges are gonna look at that and some colleges you're gonna you're gonna take your sat and all that good stuff but some colleges really do look at your gpa and the classes that you, what you've been doing in your classes and seeing that you're paying attention passing them all that good stuff so if you're going to be looking into colleges keep it at 3.0 and above um number six is your friends uh, <laughs> your friends will not always be there and in most videos people will probably be like your friends will not be there just let them go da, da, da. don't don't depend on holding on to them da, da, da. i'm not gonna tell you that because that's not the type of person that i was my friends that i had coming into high school was from some of them were from elementary school some of them were from middle school and I didn't want to make new friends. I didn't want to do all that good stuff that people are going to tell you that you do. I'm not a talkative person. I'm not outgoing person. So I wanted to keep the friends that I already had, that I already knew everything about me, that I didn't want to go through all that extra stuff again. I know that there's a lot of people like that, but I even, going into high school, I even lost like my closest friends. And that's because, of course, I went to a different school and some of them went to different schools, but also just because things that happen when you go to high school is people be telling you the truth like boys and all that good stuff please don't let a boy ruin your friendships because that's what almost well it did happen to me because we're still not the same and we probably never will be and if you guys want me to i'll do a story time on that but like we just we won't be the same because i was the type of person to not let a boy get into the middle of me and my friend's relationship but she was the type of person that i guess did and i wasn't down with that and i didn't want a friend like that and we were friends for a long time so i mean your friends will be there but they who's to say that something won't happen like it did with me and you guys end up breaking apart and that's okay and people tell you that it's, you don't need to be emotional and stuff over it but you can be because it actually does hurt and it's okay to be emotional over stuff like that whether you're a girl or a boy like if you lose your homie then be like dang that like it sucks to lose a friend that you thought was gonna be there for forever regardless so like it's okay to be that type of way or to feel that type of way but you will meet other friends now that is true regardless of if you're talkative or not because you're going to find somebody that's like you so or somebody that you're just you just connect with on a different level you're going to be there for four years like you're going to find new friends you're going to meet new people have to interact with new people because that's what the teachers make you do anyway it's like they're forcing it upon you anyway but so it it's going to happen they might not be the bestest friends and they might not be there forever either like they could leave in the next two years too but at the same time you just make sure that you're still staying true to yourself don't let anybody peer pressure you don't let anybody like force you to do anything that you don't want to do so because that will happen during high school because people are just that it's not even that they think that they're peer pressuring you but it it's gonna seem like peer pressure because they're doing it and it's just like should i do it because they're offering it to me like no stay true to yourself again just know if you don't want to do something don't do it like don't let it be like oh everybody else is doing it so I'm gonna do it no that's not how life works if you're going to stay true to yourself and be who you are regardless and and if they leave you because of that they were never your friends in the first place so bye to you because that's where I say new friends will come along because those friends were never your friends in the first place <sighs> okay next topic 
we're on six yeah seven okay if girls if if even guys too if you're going to focus on a girl or a guy because i'm everybody will tell you don't do it 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 i'm not gonna tell you that because you're gonna do it regardless so instead of telling you not to do it you should give advice on what to do and if you can't juggle a boy or a girl and still have your grades up here and them down here then don't do it then you don't do it because if you if you let your grades slip because you're focusing on them then it's no no that's when you shouldn't do it but if you're good and you can focus on your grades and your grades are good and then there's a boy that you like or a girl that you like then i'm not gonna tell you not to talk to them you're doing everything right but just don't let your focus slip onto them more and then you not worry about your grades or you because during high school i honestly feel like you find yourself a part of you 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 find yourself and you can either not find yourself because you're focusing on somebody else or you can because you're putting yourself first and your grades and all that good stuff and then you can focus on them because if they're really going to if y'all are really going to be in a relationship and if y'all are really going to go far then they'll be there to focus on afterwards even while you're in college if you still want to focus on them because if y'all go to different colleges you spent or what if they end up going to college because they was working on their stuff and you stuck in the same place because you was focusing on them you don't want that so focus on you make sure you tell them to focus on them and y'all can still like you know figure things out go on dates work work with each other all that good stuff but just make sure that you have your priorities straight that's all um eight no seniors no seniors no seniors no seniors no seniors because you're gonna walk into that building and you're gonna be like See, for me, when I went to middle school, I was in a middle school with seniors. So I already knew what it was like. But some of y'all are coming from middle schools that don't have them to that. And these seniors are going to be looking like grown men. And that's going to be real different. But don't talk to them. Don't talk to them. Because some of them really do. Not, I'm not going to put all of them in the same category. But if they're trying to mess with you and you're a freshman something's wrong unless you're sorry my sister called me y'all i forgot what i was talking about uh, blah, 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 blah. oh no seniors and if you're very much oh very mature for your age you will have to be very mature for your age if a senior is talking to you and they're serious and if they are serious don't do nothing with them that's how you'll know if they're serious for real. Don't do nothing with them. And if they're, they're serious and you're not doing nothing with them, then, and if they stay around, then that's how you know that is real. So I'm not going to tell you not to mess with them at all, but most of them are no good. And there's really, even if they are some good, it's a 20% chance out of 100 that y'all are going to actually be together for forever i'm not saying that it's impossible but half of the time it just doesn't work but nobody knows god's plans for anybody else so i'm not saying don't do it but don't get caught up with them still focus on you basically apply to all the other rules as well but even more standards because that is going to be tough and just save yourself the heartbreak if you can because if they go out to college and you're still stuck in high school you don't know what you're going to do with yourself so yeah okay yeah there's like this percentage of a chance that it'll work i'm not saying that it's impossible i've never heard of it being done before but if there is somebody out there let me know how it went because i want to know um, I say number nine is make the most out of it. Like these years 
are gonna pass by people say that you have all the time in the world but like i uh, uh it's just like make the most out of it do the activities that you want to do regardless of if your friends are doing them like if you want to do something do it don't be like oh my friends aren't gonna do it so i'm not gonna do it no forget them friends like make your own experiences do what you want to do that's also back to staying true to yourself because if you want to do something do it because i know that if i want to do something my friends don't want to do it okay oh well i'ma do it like that's me that's who i am that's what i want to do so i'ma do it regardless y'all do what you want to do in high school whether that's to join a team or activity out a little after school like do that and don't do it just because your friends are doing it like actually want to do it or even if your friends aren't doing it and you want to do it go do it like who are your friends to tell you that you can't do something or that is stupid or that is weird because if they don't support you and what you're doing then they're not your friends if they say oh we think that's stupid no don't tell me that something that i want to do is stupid Cause I might think that something that you want to do is weird, but I'm not going to say that to you because that's what you want to do. Do it. I support you. I support you. It's not my thing, but I support you. Go ahead and do it. Like people kill me with that. And that's why you have to find the right friends because if they're not supporting you, if they're not down the back for whatever you're doing, then they're not your friends. So find a new friend. Number Ten. Um, that goes back to I just said you don't have all the time in the world. Your teachers from your freshman year, your sophomore year, and your junior year, which doesn't make sense to me, is gonna be like, oh, you have time, oh, you have time, oh, you have time, oh, you have. Take it from me, and I'm gonna be a senior. And that time was at first going real slow, but now it's like, where did the time go? Especially with being like uh, my junior year being in the pandemic, it was like everything that I needed to do or expected to do for my future, it didn't happen because of the pandemic and I should have been more focused on it. But like at the same time, I couldn't focus on anything. It was just like, I just wanted to get my grades good and get out of it. But from your freshman year, that goes, I think, to my 11th, is if you um, are looking into um, colleges and stuff and you know that you want to go to college or just something that you want to do, like make sure that, not that you know, but like that you have an idea of what you want to do because I just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like, you'll feel unprepared and I, it's not, it's just <laughs> make sure that you at least have something outlined, make a plan B, a plan A, a plan C, a plan D. Like even because your mind will change my mind has changed multiple times on what I want to do and who I want to be. But every time that your mind changes, write out a plan. Say, this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to do it. Because if you write it out, then it's going to happen. Like, if you manifest it, say, this is how I'm going to do it. This is when I'm going to do it. Write it on a calendar. Write it in your phone. Like, I can't stress it enough to just prepare yourself. Like, I don't understand why they really be like, oh, you have all the time in the world to look for colleges. No, figure out colleges that you think you're gonna like, whether, like I said, you're gonna change your mind, but you can look at all of them. Like, look at all of them through all out the four years, like, well, three years, cause it's the fourth year you're gonna, trying to figure out where you really want to go but if you do that now you're gonna know like look look into colleges and look into um 
ways to get into college like if you need money find find the money now like say oh yeah i'm gonna do this my junior year i'm gonna do this my sophomore year like just prep yourself because no matter how many times you're gonna say oh you have time oh you have time whether you don't don't listen to them don't listen to them because the time is going to be like okay and then it's going to feel like last minute once it gets there because they're going to be rushing you and they're going to be like oh you have to figure it out oh you have to figure it out oh you have to figure it out. no wait a minute what happens all the time that you said i was gonna have yeah it's not here so just prepare yourself like i hope that made as much sense as possible because i really don't know how to explain it right now but just prepare yourself and it'll work out it'll work out if you're making plans and setting yourself up like go over it with your parents or whoever your guardian is like go over it and like though you can ask them questions your teachers your your counselors like really talk to them about your future because you're the you're the only person i promise you you are the only person that knows exactly what you want to do exactly what you're looking for so you have to say it like i promise you you have to say it and work from there and let people help you let people help you don't try to do everything on your own let people help you um yeah that's pretty much i think i'll have to say um there's more possibly if you guys want me to do a part two you can tell me but um for right now just focus on those and like this applies as y'all can see to everybody like whether you're a freshman sophomore or a junior now when i get done with my senior year maybe i'll come back but <laughs> for right now just focus on the little things because that's what's going to matter the most in the future what they're making seem so small is going to be so big in the future so if you prep for your future now you won't have nothing to worry about like all these other freshmen and that will soon be seniors with you hopefully they're gonna be running around with chickens with the head chopped off but you're gonna be straight because you planned your freshman year or you planned your sophomore year or you're planning your junior year so just plan is all i gotta say and make sure that you're really looking into stuff that you like and figuring it out your sophomore in freshman year figure it out because after that it's crunch time so yeah i hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and tell me more videos that you guys want to see so bye guys